Kaggle is a major part of this course. You will complete a Kaggle project as part of your grade. You'll work either independently or in teams. We'll introduce the Kaggle in the last part of this module. But for now, let's take a look, first of all, at just what Kaggle actually is. So Kaggle is a competitive data science sport, almost. You can earn top rankings in Kaggle. Uh, you do this in a variety of ways. If you look at Kaggle, you can see that they have data sets, competitions, notebooks, and discussions. You can earn ranking in all four of those areas. If you want to see my own ranking, I'll show you that. It's okay, I guess. I am a competitions expert. I have that status in competitions, also in data sets. What that means is I've gotten a number of bro uh, two bronze medals in competitions that I competed in before. So you'll see in the Quora question pairs, I got in the top 7%. And in the auto group, I got in the top 10%. You need to be in the top 10% to get a bronze medal, at least in the competitions. There's other qualifications in these others. You can become a Kaggle master or even a grandmaster. And some people actually have all four of these as grandmaster, and then you're a quadruple grandmaster. So you can go far, far in Kaggle. I've really only competed in three competitions, so I have not gone nearly as far in Kaggle as, as some people have but I've competed in a few. We're going to compete in a private Kaggle competition. So if you look at the main competitions page, these are the public competitions, and you can see they are for some very decent money, 100,000, 60,000, 53,000, and so on. Winning one of these also certainly gives you the opportunity for, for major bragging rights to recruiters at very, very very good companies. I have seen some people parlay their Kaggle winnings into, in, into entire career directions. We, for the course, will not be competing in the public Kaggle competitions. We'll be competing in something called Kaggle Community. I'm going to get slightly ahead and go to part five, but if you look here, you can see some of the past Kaggle competitions that I've done in this course. I've done Kaggle competitions in this course for seven years since I first started teaching it. If you go to the immediate previous one from spring 2023, this was a competition where I had you count the number of people in a beach scene. These were entirely generated images by me. And you can see some of them are darker than others, and some are brighter, and some have more people, some have less, some have people on the beach, in swimming suits, bikinis. I even perform a cameo, as you can see right here, walking my dog. Uh, so this is, this is one of the competitions that you previously had. Now, the people who have the top Kaggle ranks, if you click on Kaggle Top Users, You'll see, and no, I am not at the top. I am actually 10,489th, I guess, in, in Kaggle. But you can see the other people here, like Dieter. If you click on them, you'll see that they are Grandmaster in four or three of these. And you will see a lot of people in the top ranks at NVIDIA and some of the other sort of major tech companies. One Kaggle Grandmaster at rank 153 that I have followed for quite some time. I read some of the uh, things that he puts out. Bojan Tongues works for NVIDIA, I believe currently with NVIDIA. Yep. Uh, and you can see this is an example of a quadruple Grandmaster. So he has uh, achieved Grandmaster status in all four of the categories. Very, very accomplished individual. Certainly recommend following him on Twitter and LinkedIn. I certainly do. So how is the Kaggle competition actually scored? You'll have those leaderboard positions. And if you look at 
So if we look at a typical Kaggle competition, this is the one that the spring 2023 students competed in. If you go to the data, you can see that I give you the training set, the test set that you're going to use to form your submissions for, and then all of the uh, images in this case. And this is the usual format for a Kaggle competition. And this is how your assignment for module eight works. You're supposed to take a training set, train a model on it, and then submit predictions on the test set. These Kaggle competitions will usually have discussions. So there's real, no discussion really occurred in this competition. They'll have a leaderboard and a lot went on here. So you can see these students submitted a number of different entries for this. Sometimes we'll have students submit nearly a hundred entries in these. Uh, but in this case, Daisy Wang was the winner last, uh, last semester with 10 entries and had the lowest score. And in this case, the lower score is, is certainly better. So when you compete in the competition that I'm going to give you for this course, all of your entries will go on to the, the, the leaderboard. And to get full points, I will establish a benchmark solution. And all you really have to do is beat the benchmark solution. Getting to the top, like number one position, that's entirely up, up to you. And some of you will work much, much harder on this for others. Some of the, the, the top, uh, the, the, the top people here often, often have internships with me at, at my, uh, at my day job where I lead a data science team, or I will often write a, a very good recommendation for, for these students. Typically, members from the internet are allowed to come into here as well. I have never had somebody from the internet beat out the, the, the students, but who knows? Could certainly happen. So this is the introduction to Kaggle and Kaggle competitions. In this module, we're going to look at some techniques that are very useful for Kaggle competitions. And then finally, we'll get into this semester's Kaggle competition. Thank you for watching the video. And if this is useful, please uh, give me a like and subscribe so that you don't miss future content coming up.